coming up on USDS East versus West. Have fun at watching. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and let's welcome you to the first DSAA baseball match in 2024 between the Seaford Warriors and the team of FPC Gilroy. Live here from our virtual Seaford High School complex in Seaford, Delaware. And about the team of FPC Gilroy, they have lost their first match against the newcomer Stevens for Porcupines with 10 runs to 6. So let's see if they can do it better against the today's opponents, the Seaford Warriors. And now let's get into it. Wally Dingle is our starter in the batter's box. Against the first player on the mound, Rudolf Gillespie. And here comes the first pitch. Wally Dingle falls off the ball to the left. Oh, one right now. And now it's time for the one pitch. And Wally Dingle watches it go outside. One to one. Now this time is two seam fastball went a little bit too low. Have to set this next pitch a little bit more higher in order to put the ball in the direction of a strike soon. And um, yeah, Wally Dingle is at the spot of his pitch. But he weren't fast enough. To reach the first base in time. So the Seaford Warriors has have made the first out against the team of Gilroy. And now it's Peter Korn's turn against Rudolf Gillespie. Here comes the delivery. We got hit high and uh, fall off to the right. Ball got pretty well hit. Let's see how far he can get. Not that far. Because um, Philip Rivera, the left fielder of the Seaford Warriors, were capable to caught the ball in the air. Now they've made the second player from a team of Gilroy down. Now it's Coach Karp's, Coach Karp's attempt against Rudolf Gillespie. The delivery ball got pretty well hit from Coach Karp as well, like um, Peter Korn a few moments ago. Let's see how far I can get. And he's made his way to the second base. And now it's Ginger Falcone's turn. And it's Jack Brewer. She's a pretty good better, that's for sure. And a good one also. But the uh, rule of Jespi has made the first strike against her. And now she has, she was capable to hit this spot of his pitch. Let's see how far she can get. Yeah. Not that far because, yeah, the left fielder is capable to call the ball in the air. And that's uh, and at the end of the first half in the first inning. And um, that means the team of Gilroy is now in the defensive position. Lusa Waffles is the first, better, uh, the first pitcher on the mound. And he has made the first strike against Claire. And yeah, besides Claire is the first batter in the box. Of a C from a Seaford Warriors. A one. No, I and the splitter ball went a little bit too low. 
So for his next pitch. That have, that have to be a little bit more accurate. In order to get in the direction of a strike zone at least. Here comes the delivery. And Cleo has watched, has watched it go outside again. Two to two. It's an every ball free, one more ball, and Claire will get the whistle for the walk. Let's see if that's the case with his next pitch. Here it comes. It's not the case for now, but uh, Claire has fallen off the ball to the right. So the free two pitch is still on. And Claire falls another ball off. And that's finally the fourth ball from Lusa Waffles. And Claire gets the whistle for the walk. Yeah, and um, besides... The pitches from Luther Waffles. We're not that good. So you have to be more concentrate. You have to be more concentrate on his next pitches. And Randy Plotsky is the first one in the box against him. Luther Waffles! And that were one of his better pitches. First strike against um, Randy Plotsky. A swing in the miss for him. 0-1. And here comes the 0-1 pitch. Borgard sit deep. Uh, directly on the ground. Let's see how far he can get. And he has made his way on the first base. Yeah, besides, so we always have also one runner on a second base. And now it's Robert Wasabi's turn. And I'm completely sure if he... If he hit the spot of one of his pitches from Lusa Waffles, the ball will get very far. I'm definitely sure about that. Now it's time for the 0 2 pitch. Here it comes. Borgard sit deep and really well hit into the left deep center field. Yeah, but the. Um, left feeder has one towards the ball and. Caught the ball in the air, so he's out. And now it's Taylor's turn against Lusa Waffles. Here comes the delivery. And she falls off the ball to the left. Oh one. Here comes the here comes another pitch and the swing and the miss for Taylor. Great execution on the first ball. Yes, place this pitch. When the spot where it hurts the better, namely in the corner of a strike soon. This time Taylor. Let's watch this fly by. One, two. Here comes the delivery. And there were no need for Taylor to swing for that pitch. Because it would definitely be seen a ball that the ball wouldn't went into the strike zone a few moments ago. But now Lusa Waffles has 
has made his third strike against Taylor and uh, she's now out and um, yeah one more out and uh, first inning will be over and now it's Julie's turn against Lusa Waffles here comes his first pitch against her and she watches it go outside 1-0 the next attempt is coming up right now and a swing and a miss for Julie but in her defense it was a tough one to hit because um, his pitch a few moments ago from Lusa Waffles were placed near to the left bottom corner of a strike zone. And that is an, always a, a tough one to hit for the better. If you're placing a pitch right on near the bottom or upper corners. And now let's pay attention to the 2-2 pitch from Lusa Waffles and uh, Spencer so went a little bit too low this time and uh, to maybe this pitch is a little bit more higher like that but um, <clears throat> it's just missed the uh, right upper corner of his strike soon by Justin Inch and um, due to that Julie has got the whistle for the walk Besides, the Seaford Royce got the runner on the third base. So if Frank Bicker will hit the spot, they will get in the lead. But not with pitches like that. Uh, uh, not with hits like that because he has fallen off the ball to the left. A swing and a miss for Frank Bicker. Great execution on the splitter ball from Lusa Waffles. 0-2 right now. One more strike and Frank Bickel will be out. That's not the case right now. And um, besides, Frank Bickel has fallen off the ball to the right. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And that's his first ball against him. Two pitch were not that bad, but... Um, Next pitch is to aim it a little bit more on the on the right and yes exactly did that and um, Frank Bickel is down. And that well the end of the first inning. Let's get into the second. And we have Gillespie against Pucci Magruda and yeah Pucci Magruda has watched it fly by a few moments ago here comes another pitch never no need for Pucci Magruda to swing for that pit to, to swing for the for that pitch Here comes the tour pitch. And that were one of his better pitches. Swing and a miss for Pucci Magruda. 1 2. 2 1, sorry. Pucci Magruda watches that go outside. One more ball, and Pucci Magruda will get the whistle for the walk. Comes the delivery. Ground ball is on. Let's see how far he can get. Yeah. Yeah. If you hit, but only in the infield, 
you wouldn't get that far. So, um, they, um, they have to manage that their head will get on the, in the outfield in order to get on the first base at least. Yeah. Because um, if you hit, you only get an infield, you wouldn't get that far. As I told you guys a few moments ago. Now let's pay attention to the one two pitch. And yeah, Virgin Johnson has seen that there's no need to swing for that pitch. But now... It were necessary for Reginald Johnson to swing for that pitch, but... Um, uh, the ball got directly in the glove from a left field... from a right fielder of a Seaford Warriors. So... He's out and um, yeah, one more out and the team of Gilbert will get in the defense position, but now when Gilbert Weather has made their way to the first base, despite the fact That a ground ball got into the outfield a few moments ago. And yeah, that's what I that's what I told you guys a few moments ago. If the ball gets in the outfield. You will get on the first you will get on the first base at least, that's for sure. Yeah, speaking about bases, they've won one on the second base already. Now it's a turn for another better. Ball guards hit deep and by the left field, by the right fielder of a Seaford Warriors runs towards the ball and um, has made the has made the runners down. It's now a turn for the. Seaford Warriors. On your offense position. And then Claire is the first better in the box. And Mr. Waffles has made a second strike against her. Here comes the O2 delivery and clear falls of the ball to the right. O2, here comes the pitch. And clear falls another ball off. O2 pitch is still on. Ground ball is on. But she wouldn't get that far. If you hit, we can get that far. If you hit, gets all in the infield. And yeah, she's out. Oh, Lusa waffles. Here comes the delivery. Strike one. Good execution on the fastball. Yeah, the better of the Seaford Warriors. There's no 
that he wouldn't get any chance to hit this spot of his pitch a few moments ago. And then this time, better watch his head fly by. One, two, here comes the delivery. And that's the second strikeout in this game from Lusa Waffles. And have you seen it in the replay that the ball has flown like a sinus curve towards the strike zone? That's always a nasty one for the better, because a sinus curve makes a movement from down to up. And as a better, you, you remove your bat in the opposite direction from down to up. And now it's Rudolf Gillespie's turn against Lusa Waffles, and Lusa Waffles has made a first strike against him. A one. Here comes the one pitch. Swing and the miss for the better, tough one to hit for them. A very well placed throw into the strike zone. And here comes the 0-2 pitch right now. One, two, here comes the delivery. That's pretty well hit in the center field. But no problem for the center fielder to call the ball in the air. Let's find the end of the second inning. Score still 0-0 zero zero, and now it's Wally Dingle's turn against Rudolf Gillespie in the third inning. Here comes the pitch. The pitch got dropped on the ground and uh, yeah, shortstop went capable to hit the, to cut the ball in the air so on the other hand, Wally Ningle were capable to make his way on the first base. Yeah, and that pitch got way out of target from Rudolf Gillespie a few moments ago, so... Uh, yeah, and that way another ball, 2-0. That was third ball in a row, one more ball, and yeah... Whether we get the whistle for the walk. It's not the case. One ball were on and um, got picked up from a shortstop and um, yeah. And after that they have made Wally Dingle, I think, down. And that were the first strike against Coach Carp. Great execution. And the pitch a few moments ago, and oh, there was the second strike in the wall against him. Let's see whether he can make three strikes in a row. That's not the case. Ground ball gets picked up. From a shot of the Seaford Warriors. And they've made them down, Coach Carp. And now it's half time in the third inning, and now it's time for the Seaford Warriors.
in die Offense Position. Hier kam sie Levy vom Loser Waffles. One oh, hier kam sie, hier kam sie nach Pitch. Ball two. Two right now. So delivery and swing and the miss for Claire. Tough one to hit. Two to one right now. Here comes another delivery and strike two. Railway plays throw in the white bottom corner of a strike soon. Tough one to hit for Claire. And like I said, um, in the first inning, if you place, if you place your pitches in the in the upper or bottom corners, it's always a difficult to hit for the better. Uh, in that case, Claire. And now three to two, one more ball or one more strike. Wow. And Claire will get the whistle for the walk or will be out. A few moments ago he has followed the ball to the left. And this time he falls off, she falls off to the right. And that's the Third strike against her. Great execution on the knuckleball from Lusa Waffles. Near the bottom corner of the strike zone, as you saw on the replay. No chance to hit that spot. And then we finally need the first strike out in the game for, from Lusa Waffles. And now it's Wendy Plotsky's turn against him. Ground ball is on, gets picked up from Ginger Falcone, I think. And hey, Pochi McGruder was, sorry. And made him down. I flung the ball to Ginger Falcone on the first base. Now it's Coach Karp's turn. And another strike from Lusa Waffles, another great execution on the skew ball. No chance to reach, it, to reach that spot. Now it's time for the one pitch. That's a second strike in a row against him. The swing and the miss for Robert Vasabi as well. One more strike and Robert Vasabi will be out. Let's see whether he can make three strikeouts in a row. Well, three strikes in a row and that's the case. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's review the footage. Very well placed throw from Lusa Waffles in the right bottom corner of a strike zone. Why the spot where it hurts the better. Uh, I've had Ginger Falcone in the baddest box against Rudolf Gillespie. And Ginger Falcone falls off the ball to the left. He's coming up right now from Rudolf Gillespie. And he has made also three strikes in a row. Like Lusa Waffles a few moments ago. And by the way, he's made it against a better like Ginger Falcone. No one has never three strikes in a row against Ginger Falcone before. Huh? So it never happened, in other words.
Nur no, fährt, uh, fängt Pucci McRude in die Battles Box. Hier kommst du oh. on Pitch. So sind fast, weil wenn a little bit too high, so set up his next pitch a little bit lower. In order to get in the direction of his strike soon at least. Bogarts hit deep. And got picked up from a le left field of a C from a Seaford Warriors. Mapuche Megruda has made her way to the first base. And I've had Reginald Johnson in the batter's box. Here comes the delivery. Round ball is on, and um, yeah, the Tifal Warriors have made two players all at the same time. Borgatz picked up from a shortstop. From the Seaford Warriors, and then they throw the ball to the second and first basemen, and then they, yeah, they were faster than their runners. And that's the reason why it came to a double play. That means they've made two players out at the same time. And yeah, besides, Taylor has made the way on the second base already due to an pretty well hit into the wide deep center field. No, maybe Julie can. Can help Taylor to put the first one on the scoreboard. But not if. But not if Lusa Waffles makes one and another balls. Two one right now. Here comes the delivery. Ball free, one more ball and we will get the whistle for the walk. Oh come on, you wouldn't even get on the first base with that type of hit. Okay, but now I'm gonna take that back what I've said a few moments ago because Julie has actually made it on the first base. But the team of FPC General have made one fatal mistake. The pitcher and the catcher from the team of FPC General got in each other's way. So in other words, they've made an interference by themselves. And that's why Julie were capable to make their way on the first base. But now I've had Frank Bickel in the batter's box against Lusa Waffles. Here comes the delivery. And Julie has successfully steal the second base without even noticed from Lusa Waffles. So to Lusa Waffles down there, you have to get concentrate. What the opponent players makes behind you. Here comes the 1-1 pitch. Borgatz hit deep into the center field. Yeah, and an easy out. For the team of Gilroy against Seaford Warriors because yes, from a in the glove from a center fielder Dave Rocker. No, Lusa Waffles with another pitch against. I don't know where the bat is right now. But the ball watcher said, go outside. 1 0 right now. Here comes the delivery. Fly ball is on. Ball gets picked up from a left fielder. After. 
FPC Gilroy. But then from the better went on the ground, so um, the runner on the third place were capable to put the first run on the scoreboard for the Seaford Warriors. So one nothing lead for Seaford right now. No, it's Mika Rivera's turn against Lusa Waffles. Here comes the delivery. Rivera falls off the ball to the left. One more pitch is coming up right now. This time Mikael falls off the ball to the right. Here comes another delivery. And uh, Mikael falls another ball off. One, two right now. Ball two, the knuckleball went a little bit too low. So for his next pitch. Have to be more accurate. Like that, but uh, Mika Rare falls off the ball to the right. 2-2 two, two right now, and... That's five, that we're finally the third strike against Mika Rare, and she's down right now. One more out. From Gilroy. And they will successfully prevent the Seaford Warriors who made another run in the fourth inning. Here comes the 1 0 -oh pitch. Strike one. Kim Crawford has stealed the second base. So. Lusa Waffles were unaware of what's going on behind his back again. And now the team of Gilroy have to catch the ball in the center field in order to make the runner down and to prevent that they've made another one as well. And yeah. I yeah, finally did it, and now it's we're heading to the fifth inning. Rudolf Gillespie against Wally Dingle, and they've made a first strike against him. This time, Wally Dingle has hit the spot. Fly ball, ground ball is on. But yeah, he is in reach the first base in time. And now it's Peter Korn's turn against Rudolf Gillespie. Here comes the delivery. Tough one to hit for Peter Korn, swing and a swing and a miss for him as well. A one right now, here comes the delivery! That's pretty well hit into the right deep center field. Our ball got caught in the air. From a center fielder, and um, yeah, that's a second out for them in the fifth inning. And uh, the Seaford Warriors make one more out against the team of Gilroy. Gilroy have 
to catch it up in the last inning. Fly ball is on right now and yeah. But a great thing in the glove from Julie. Easy out for her against him. It's finally the end of the first part of the fifth inning. So that means for the team of Gilroy they have to catch up the first catch up 1-1 one, one in the last inning. Oh, one right now. Here comes the delivery. Claire watches that fly by. For his next pitch, Rufa Waffles. Race with a little bit a little bit more on the right in order to get an erection of the strike zone at least. Or well, flies towards the third base. And it falls off to the left. One two right now. Ground ball is on, got picked up from his Second baseman of a team of Gilroy and they've made her down by throwing them to the first to the first baseman. Here comes the delivery. One zero. -oh. Next attempt is coming up right now. Tough one to hit for the better. Great execution on the pitch from Russo office a few moments ago. One one right now. Here comes another delivery. Strike two. I can't say it often enough. If you place your pitch near the corners or or directly in the corners of a strike zone it there's no there's no chance to reach that spot. Uh, You can try it as hard as you want to reach uh, to reach one of the pitches if they got placed in a upper or bottom corners. But yeah, as I told you, there's no chance. And now, if the team of Gilroy has made a substitution. Kirby Cheddar is now on the pitching position instead of Lusa Waffles. And that FS ball went definitely out of target. 1-1 one, one right now. Two to one right now. Here comes another delivery. Who's in fast ball were not that bad. But um, yeah, he has just missed. Double corner of his strike soon by an inch. Now he's made his fourth ball, and that cost to a walking call for. Robert Wasabi and now had Taylor in the batter's box. Here comes the pitch. Taylor watched that apply. There were no need to swing for that pitch. 
One over now. It's another delivery. Strike one. One to one. Next pitch is coming up right now. A little bit more on the left deck's time in order to get in to get in the direction of a strike soon. But not like that. And the Giver has made another player down, so that's the end of the fifth inning and now let's get into the deciding inning, the sixth inning. Rudolf Gillespie against Wally Dingle and has made a first strike against him. And the Seaford Warriors only, only need three outs in order to win this game against the team of FBC Gilroy. But down in lead up by 1-1. One, one. So it could be very easy to catch us up for Gilroy. It could be very easy for Gilroy to catch us up. This 1-1. One, one. But not if Rudolf Gillespie makes this. But not as long as Rudolf Gillespie makes some strike against makes some strikes against Wally Dingle. One more strike and Wally Dingle will be out. This ball went a little bit too low. This next pitch has to be a little bit more accurate in order that the ball will might count as a strike like that. And Wally Dingle is out. So two more outs for the Seaford Warriors. The Seaford Warriors will win this game. Now it's Dave Rucker's turn against Rudolf Gillespie. Strike one. No chance to hit this spot. From Dave Rucker, another strike. One more strike and Dave Rucker will be out. Let's see if he can make three strikes in a row. That's not the case. The shortstop from the Seaford Warriors when capable. To caught this hit in the air. So the ball went on the ground. It got picked up from the center fielder and uh, yeah, Dave Rucker has made the his way on the first base. We've had Coach Carp in the batter's box. And I'm sure if he hit the spot from one of the Lesbies pitches, the ball game will get very far. Yes, it got towards this third base, but fall off to the left. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. No chance to reach that pitch. Because it was very well placed in the right upper corner of the strike zone. The same coach car watches that flyby. One, two right now. Here comes the delivery! And he has made him out! And where we place throw in the left, in the right bottom corner this time. You know, it all depends on Ginger Falcone. She has to hit the spot of one of her pitches from Rudolf Gillespie in order to get a chance of catching up the one run.
Now the 1-0 pitch is coming up from Rudolf Gillespie. Here comes the delivery. Ball gets hit in the sky. That looks very good for a home run. But the center fielder from the Seaford Warriors has caught the ball in the air by the skin of their teeth. What a great catch from the Seaford Warriors center fielder. And due to that, they have won the match against FBC Gilroy. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Yeah, last but not least, congratulations for the Seaford Warriors. It was a very thrilling game. Very thrilling. And I put the stats from all our baseball, Disney baseball teams right in the video. And if you're interested, you have to stop the video at this point. Take care and goodbye.